Hello, my dolls. I put in a Liberty Kids DVD, and it's actually about the Boston Tea Party, and my kids are really into that, so I think I have a second to show you guys about these um, that we have labeled for you guys for the next six weeks. I'm going to try to keep this video short, but this is in lieu of a gathering training. I just think we can get by without that this time. So we've been copying the bodies um, every week during review. We have two classes left. I'll try to grab them tomorrow and next week. And we should have all of our bodies traced, which is really a huge part of the battle with science next week. And then I have this divided into um, weeks for you, and they're labeled. So each of you will get your own folder, but they're labeled, like week seven. Um, that's fine. Week eight, week nine, week ten, and so on. Inside each week, you're going to have cardstock of the body parts, but also the handout. I'm just going to pull week seven, okay? So you're going to have the cardstock body parts. So week seven is the brain, the kidneys, and there's one for every kid in your class. Brain, heart, and um, kidneys and bladder are in this one, and that's it. And it's super self-explanatory, okay? And this is all found in your My Body book if you want to look at it before you get these handed to you. But it um, it tells you, color the brain gray. This is not a creative time. They need to do this. So we're going to make sure we have the crayons. If I, you'll pull all your grays, and they'll have to share if we don't have very many. But I have a ton of extra crayons that we'll pull for this. Um, color the spinal cord gold. Cut out. That's all that is. This shows you that down the road, when we put this on their body, they're going to glue their brain there, and it's going to go behind some things. But it even says it here again, gray, color the gray brain, and then the spinal cord, it says gold right there. Um, and it's going to tell you how to actually paste that on. We're not worrying about that right now. They're going to cut this out, that whole thing. Now, when I look at the heart, okay, it's a little different because... They don't want you to cut intricately. Well, they do here, I guess, but they don't want you going around these valves. They want just a big generic circle here. So those are just things to be mindful of for Betsy and for Stephanie. We need your moms to do this for you, for their kids. Um, maybe even cutting out, like, while you're doing some stuff during class, go ahead and pull this out of your slot and say, Moms, we're working on the heart and brain today. Could you cut this out? Um, because I think those kids are going to need the head start. So Betsy, Steph. But I think Amy and Up, your kids can color and cut on their own. And if they need help, their moms will be there if they're running out of time. This tells you color the heart red and blue, but it's specific. Arteries red, carrying oxygen, veins blue, carrying carbon dioxide. So it tells you on each one. But it's going to be tough with little kids. We're going to really need the moms to help them read. And um, and you might even just sh tell the kids, every time you see a B, color it blue. Every time you see the R, color it red, you know. But um, the heart itself, you're going to do a mixture of red and blue because all that blood is going in and out of there. So that's really, each week is going to consist of that. I'm not going to break down any other week for you. When you get to the kidneys and the bladder, um, Color kidneys dark red, color bladder light red. Um, then it goes into about how you're going to arrange them. You can refer to the body here if you want to and show the kids. When we put it on your life-size body that Miss Floor was tracing, you know, this is where that'll go. We'll talk about that later. So it's so easy and, and fun. I mean, I think this might be my funnest project over dissecting crawfish and over the nature hike and all the things we do. I really do love this project. So what I, the last thing I want to show you that is in each of these files is this little take home, okay? There is information in your mind body book about each of the body parts. And I want all the kids to get these because I think that assembling a book is really neat. And this would obviously be up to the parents to do at home. There's no really time allotted. Um, there could possibly be time allotted for some of the older kids to start assembling a book. But I don't know how that works because you would think you need to finish that book on week 12. And week 12 is when we're putting our body together and it's going to take the whole time. I mean, the assembling of the body is very intense. So um, maybe as the weeks go on prior to week 12, if, if you guys want to do this, you give the handout for the day and then you um, will take the handout and file it with um, the other handouts you've given the kids, like 
you know, I don't, I don't know how you would do that, but if you want to think, cause you're smarter than me, <laughs> on how to start assembling a book along the way, you can. So there's brain, then there's my heart. And then there's, of course, my kidneys and bladder. And there's, so there's a handout for all those. And this is not cardstock. This is just paper. Um, but each of the kids will get one on all of them. Now for the littlest kids, they obviously probably don't even need the handout because they can't read well enough to hang. But you might just um, put that in their little folder that's in your tote and give that at the end of the six weeks to the mom or send it home in their backpack and say, this is a neat thing to go home with the body. This is a book because I want to show you this. In the very back, this is the last thing because we're at six minutes. This is crazy. In the very back, I have a My Body checklist. And this is something that you're going to do with the kids. Um, you're going, they're not necessarily going to check them. Maybe you will want to because it says, I need to answer yes to these questions every day. So it's really just something we'll talk about at week 12 once our body is put together. I don't even know if you guys can see me. I'm kind of sitting in front of a window, but. It says, you know, I did get plenty of sleep, so my body, did I get plenty of sleep so my body could rest? You know, yes. And you might just have them fill this out. I think it's fun for that day. Let, let's just test it out for last night. Did I eat the food that was best for my body yesterday or today? Did I exercise? Did I drink plenty of water? And just say, this is a checklist. And then you would put the name and the date that you did it. And that's just a fun little thing to do. Or you could pick this out of the back. I've got it literally back here. Um... You could pick any, any week. So to, to do that if you have extra time is what I'm saying. And then you'll notice I've got week 12 is empty back here. And that's just because we're going to be assembling body parts that day. So after your kids cut the body parts, last thing, just tuck them back in, in the week. So that whenever it's time to assemble the body, we can quickly go, oh, we know where the brain is. It's in week 7. Now we need the kidneys. Oh, let's run to week whatever and grab those. Okay. Thanks, guys.